All right, if you're ready to get started, I am too. We're going to do a barn scene today. One of my favorites. I got a little pink that I made up right here. I, I've been on this kick using pink and a lot of my sky here lately. I think it looks nice. I mean, it. I guess that's why I do it. It just looks nice. I don't know where I got the idea of using pink out. I must have seen it somewhere. But I like using pink a lot of times, and I've been doing that a lot, like I said. It's <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I am. But we'll start out with some pink, and we're going to transition into some phthalo blue. Okay, put a little bit over in here. Kind of mix it up a little bit. I do have liquid white in my sky. Now let's get us a little blue. Try to get a little blue. It's hard to hard to get a little blue with a big brush. But we'll test it out here a little bit. I'm gonna put some bluish streaks in it here and there. Cause I want my sky to look kind of light in a, in a painting like this, I do for sure. Now I'm going to take a little Prussian blue. I had to make sure it was Prussian blue. I got black real close to that. <laughs> I wasn't a hundred percent sure until I put it up here. And we'll get a clean brush here in a minute. We could put clouds in it if we want, but I, I don't know. I think this might be a... I don't use a lot of clouds, to be honest with you. I mean, I just... I find that streaking up your sky, to me, looks perfectly fine. I mean, clouds are okay. But they, if I don't have them, it doesn't bother me a bit. They're not in my painting. I just don't even care. You know, I may change my mind someday. Some paintings, now they need them. But a lot of them don't. Okay, let me grab me a different brush here real quick. Try out my new brush. The one's nice and soft. I'm going to start right here in the light area. And I'm just going to blend this out and I'm going to work my way up. Crisscross strokes. Always start in your light area first. Very important to remember that. Yeah, you don't want to start at the top and work your way down. That would be a, considered a bad thing. And then just a touch right there. I think that's good. I like that right there. My object today, I want to get some paint down on this canvas as fast as I can. Why as fast as I can? I don't know. I just something I said. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm going to take a little brown, a little black, uh, probably a little phthalo blue, and some white. I may even use some of this pink. Just incorporate it in. Um, that's a. That's probably good for the side. Probably a little too dark for the front. I think I want the sun to be coming down this way today. I'm winging this picture. I'm just. I just made this up as I'm. As I'm going along, I may put background trees in. I may not. I'm not sure. I've been doing that a lot. Just winging things. It's a lot easier if you have something to look at. But if you can't find something good to look at, then you gotta wing it. I'll finish putting some of these collars on here in a little bit, off camera probably. 
little blue, little black, little white, a little brown just to dull it. But I'm definitely going to use some of this pink. That's a little, that's a lot better actually right there. That's a good collar right there. But I only made more of it for the front of the building, front of the barn. If sun's hitting there, you want this lighter than that. That's what you shoot for. Take some more just pinking through in here. That way I don't waste it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna incorporate all this pink anyway somewhere through here. There's no point in wasting anything. Black, blue, touch of brown, touch of white, and some pink. See, that's a little darker. Yeah, throw in some pink. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and finish this barn and I'll bring you back and we'll start throwing some grass in here real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and throw some grass in here. I'll put some background trees here. I want them pretty far back. Um, we're going to start right here. We're going to start with our yellow. This is Cad Yellow Light. I'm just going to place collars where I think they need to be. And then I'm going to mix it all up with a one inch brush and then I'm going to go over everything again with a fan brush. That's usually how I do stuff. Take some yellow ochre. This is just the base really is all this is right here. We're just putting the base in. The base of our collars. I'm going to pull this painting out a little bit here. Cause you gotta have something to work with. So this is this is what we're gonna we're just gonna mix and blend all these colors together. As it comes closer, we're gonna get darker. The further something away is, the lighter in color. And as it gets closer, it gets darker. That's a rule you need to remember if you don't know that one. We're very important. Let's go ahead and throw some grass in here. I'm going to put a little yellow up in here in this area. A little green right in there. Ochre. Okay. Let's put a little more green here, then I'm going to switch to something even darker. Oh, uh, let's take some Prussian blue. Start with some Prussian blue down in here. Throw a little more green in that. Take some alizarin crimson. Red is a foreground color. Russian blue. I think I want some along this edge right here. Take some crimson. Since I have it on the palette, I'm going to use it. I always like to have a little bit on the palette. Okay, let me get a one inch brush and see if I can mix some of that. Make sure your brush is clean. Start in the brightest colors first, which would be right here. Get all the way up to the tree line. We don't have a lot of room right there, so we'll start over here. I'll put this on top because I want the sun coming down this way. Yeah, start in the yellow and work your way down. This is just like a little mound. Let's see here. Make sure I got this good enough right here. I may put a I'm gonna put several trees in this painting. I, I may put one or two right here on this mound. 
or I may change my mind. I do that a lot, I, especially when you wing it. You kind of change your mind as you go along. If you think something might look better, you change change your mind. It's always easier to have a picture to look at. I just I don't have one today. If you don't have one, you just gotta use your imagination. But it is certainly easier to have a picture. Now I'll go over every bit of this with a fan brush. That'll be the final touch. This is the starting touch. Just putting collar down. This canvas is all dry down here. The only place I had liquid whites up at the top. So by saying that, it means you got to scrub it. I may even take a paper towel and wipe this off. Oh, it can be dry for me. Okay. This is a road right here, by the way, in case I didn't tell you. I may not have. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm working on my barn a little bit. I'm taking my knife, and this is one way to get these little streaks, boards, cracks in the boards on your barn. Just take your knife. I got some black on here. They don't have to be perfect. This is an old barn. But this is this is how you do it. I don't have the door or nothing in there yet. I want to do this first. A lot of times I will put the door in first. I mean, you got to do more to it than this, but this is how you, if you want streaks in your barn, cracks in the board, that's what they are, cracks in the boards. This is what you do. I mean, this is one way to do it. There's lots of ways to do things. I'm going to put a few over here. I'll probably come back with a brush because these are pretty dark and I'll probably just touch them, blend them a little. I don't, you don't want them that dark. But I'm just using black. I could have used raw umber probably or brown. You could use anything that's kind of dark. But I like using this dark because I want to take my brush and kind of blend it a little. Was we're just starting to work on this barn. We're just getting started. I have a smaller knife. I'll have to come down here and get this. Get these corners a little bit. But I just wanted to show you that. That's how you do it. Just use your knife. One way to do it. Let's just keep going with the one that I had. My supply of brushes is dwindling. Yeah, I like using the fan brush on this stuff right here. You can use a one inch brush if you want. And start getting into some green. Start getting into some greens. And I push up on this brush to give it texture. This especially right here, this is close up. particular hill. All 
here. Let me try this brush. That, that brush here is just not cutting it. Just not cutting the mustard, so to speak. Oh, this is much better. This is the one I should have had to start with. Much, much, much better. Okay, let's start over here. Let's get our greens in. As it gets closer, I'll switch over to some blues. I'll probably have to hit this center a couple times because I got to do the road still. This will get us a good start. Got a little bit of a picture I'm looking at there. For the road. <laughs> Running out of green. We're going to switch to blue. Trying to make my way down to the area we can use it. Oh, this is all my green. All right, let's take some Prussian blue. I can go over some of this again if we need to. right here on the edges on this edge dark right in here I got enough to finish this. Take some crimson too. Throw some crimson in there. Blue and red make purple anyway. It needs to be dark. That'll probably do us for now. All right, I've been working on my road here a little bit. And I think I'm going to add three trees, maybe two here and a small one right here. I'm going to take some raw umber. I think I'm just going to use raw umber on this one. I don't want this one real big. Let's see, let's put it about, I'm drawing it kind of lightly right now just to make sure this is where I want it. Let's put one right here. I got a big brush. This is probably too big. I'm just going to throw some stuff in for now. I'm just I'm just placing the tree where I want it. Basically, <laughs> that's not the final look I'm going to have. And a bigger one maybe right here. Raw umber is what I'm using. This is the next day. This painting is sat overnight. And we're going to finish up today, hopefully. Hopefully we will. I'm just twisting in some branches here. I'll have to get a smaller brush. Can't, you can't do too much with a big brush. Yeah, let me change brushes real quick. A little smaller brush. So number one, let's get a number two. Just flip in some branches real quick. A 
little branch here. These branches will be covered. There'll be leaves on this. You won't even see most of this. But you got to put them in anyway. Just for the sheer principle of it. If nothing else. I remember we're using raw umber. I usually use black and brown, but I tell you what, this raw umber, it looks like black and brown. So this kind of takes care of both of them. It looks like black and brown. There's no point in using anything but raw umber. Because that's just about the look I want. Let's throw a small one right here. Mm, just a small little gnarly tree. I think trees look good next to the barns. Uh-oh. Got into some of that yellow. But that's all right. No big deal. Just throw in a little, little small tree right here. Just a little crooked tree. Okay, let me start putting some leaves on here now. Wipe this brush off. I may use the same brush. Um, I think, or I may highlight these first. Actually, let me do that. These are pretty dry, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm taking some pure white, and I'm just running it down the edge. Of where I think the sun would be hitting. The sun is coming down this way. We're going to use a lot of collars on this though, so this is just collar number one. Just keep wiping your brush off. I'll go ahead and put some collars in this tree right here. And then we'll move on to, then I'll finish the rest of them off camera so it don't take too long. This is yellow ochre. Throw a little bit of this in here. Just vary up your collars. Just little this, little that. Take some brown. Some brown and throw in here. Trees are always brown, mostly. Not quite dark enough. This raw umber is so dark a little. Probably have to go over these again. Take some raw sienna, burnt sienna. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll probably have to wipe these trees. Let me wipe these trees off and then we'll get started. All right, I went ahead and started on my leaves. Um, I left this one. I didn't put any highlights on this one so I could show you. But I took black, black and Prussian blue, put on the first set of leaves. As you can see in this tree, it's darker in some areas. Then I took green and yellow, mixed it together, more yellow than green, and I flipped it on top. Just put some on top. Now I'm taking pure cad yellow light and I'm touching where I think the sun will be hitting. Sun's coming down this way. I know that the sun is going to be hitting on this edge. I know that. You just use your imagination and wherever you think the sun is going to be hitting is where you, where you highlight. And you bring it in a little bit. You just don't want to do the edges. Just bring it in a little bit. 
keep a paper towel in your hand put on a pretty good amount we know the sun is going to be hitting this right in here And just got to keep reloading, wiping your, wiping your brush off because we just put these trees down. Sun will probably be touching some of this right in here too. Maybe right in here. Like I said, you just use your imagination. Just visualize in your mind where you think the sun will hit. That's really all it is. Just a little imagination. Sun's probably clipping down in here a little bit. Probably right here. Maybe not a lot, but it's hitting a little bit. Let's put a little bit right in here. Stand back and take a look. See, that don't look, that don't look too bad right there. You don't want to overdo it. You want darkness, darkness in it. Let me get me a different brush. I'm going to go ahead and throw some fence posts in while I've got the camera rolling here. We're going to have fence posts, I think, on both sides, and we still have to do our shadows. I haven't got to that point yet. Oh, let's start. Let's put one right. Let's put one right here. This grass is still wet from yesterday. As you can tell, I'm smearing some yellow there. We're going to start, let's put one right here. They don't have to be pretty fence posts. We don't want them pretty. We want them kind of rough looking. I had to move my camera angle a little bit. Yeah, you want these kind of rough. This is just raw umber I'm using right now. Make one a little crooked here. Like it's falling down. Oh, let's put a pretty good size one right here. Nice big fat one. Raw umber. Put another one right here. Nice big fat one. And one more here. That is a fat one there. Probably too fat, but it's okay. We've already done it and it's, it don't look that bad. We'll just work with it. All right, let's go ahead and throw some collar in on that. I may switch brushes. I think I will. I think I'm probably done with these trees for the most part, except for some touch up. So I'm going to take this same brush. That way I don't keep wasting dirty up brushes. Hopefully I can do a mountain painting after this one, after I get this done. That's what my goal is today. On the right side, we're going to throw in some white because it's going to mix with the brown or with the raw umber. Some here. I'm spinning my brush. Turning it as I'm bringing it down to keep the paint flowing. The sun is hitting the right side. down. 
fence posts always go with the barn painting. I love putting fence posts in with a barn painting. It just goes so well. <laughs> it goes so well with it. Let's take some yellow ochre. Throw some of this in. Varied colors, just mixing it up. This is yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Mixed together. You can even put red in these front ones right here if you want. Mm -hmm. Let's see what color it gives us. Let me go ahead and take some Prussian blue. run down the back side. Prussian blue makes a good shadow collar. Wiping your brush off. One more. And you can kind of blend this up. I've been working on my shadows and I'll put a little viney thing right here because I want to put a little collar in this picture. I'm gonna put some red some red flowers on here just for some collar. This is a lizard crimson I'm using. Just keep it wiped off and I'm probably going to wind up putting some cad red light on it. I usually start with crimson and paper towel. Um, put, start with crimson and put cad red light on top. That's typically what I do because we need some collar in this. It's a pretty big flower there. Got to be careful. I don't want to overdo it. And while I'm at it. I think I'm, I'm thinking I'll put a bush or two in here. Need something probably there, maybe one here. Might put one right here. Just for collar, you know, you, you want to... It don't hurt to put some collar and stuff, man. I like collar. See, this is mainly, without the red, this is mainly just green, yellow, blue, brown. I mean, it's kind of, kind of plain. I uh, need one more. Maybe here. You don't have to use red. I mean, you can use different colors. But it just needs a little something. Maybe make this a little bigger. It's 
just put something here. Why not? Now with all that, that'll fill this picture up real nice. Okay, let me get me, let me wipe this, this off. This is my granddaughter's brush. I use it constantly. It's falling apart on me. I need to, <laughs> it's a half inch brush. That's what I like about it. I got a little bit of CAD Red Light laying here. I may have to get some more. I think I will. Let me get a little bit more out real quick so I don't, I don't hold you. A little bit more in here. Brighten this up a little. Okay. Now let me take a little CAD red light. Put on these. Brighten these babies up a little. Oh, that looks so much better with some color. Okay, let me move my palette and I'm going to get a different color. Let's do some turquoise for that one and that one. Just for something different. Like I said, I like to use different colors. Might have a little red mixed in with it because this is the only brush I have like this. And I'm going to have to stick turquoise on it. We'll see how that looks. Red and turquoise. <laughs> oh yeah, look how that nice that is. I mean, man, that really that stands out, don't it? That stands out. Now when I put the shadows in, that'll really make it nice. Okay, I'm going to put the shadows in of these things I just did, and we're about done. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty well. I like it. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.